Generic greetings and welcome to Airborne Kingdom. Today's beverage is a nice glass of still Sicilian lemonade. I say still indicating that it is not fizzy rather than it being changed into some other beverage. Not that I know how that would even work. Either way, this is a city builder with a bit of a difference. The city itself floats and will move around, which means that basically instead of you bringing the resources to the city, you bring the city to the resources. It's a game I've been playing over the Christmas period and enjoying and I thought we would do a bit of a series on it. There are several regions in the game and you have all of your typical city builder stuff so you'll have to gather resources, explore, find and research different technologies, expand the city and meet the desires of your populace. So it's got all of your typical stuff in there with the added twist that the city itself flies. Either way we're going to go to new game and start this thing off. Bit of an intro here so we'll just go through it. In a bygone age, a kingdom existed like no other. This kingdom did not anchor its power. This kingdom took to the skies. Seems like a logical step. The airborne kingdom traveled to every kingdom on the ground, sharing knowledge, culture, and tradition. That's nice of them. Its great council guided the lands through a golden age. Yet, long before even our elders can remember, the airborne kingdom vanished. Mm, either Nox cloaking technology or they ran out of coal, one of the two. The people sought to continue their harmony, but... Self-interest began to overrule. As it does. The land's three regions slowly isolated. Trade, travel, connections all unwound. No oh dear. Kingdoms contracted. And small settlements nearby were nearly wiped away. Is someone actually altering this map or is it, you know... What a magic. Bygone times turned to legend. But in the tapestry, we found instructions. A blueprint to remake the technology of the ancients. Ah, oh, so it's like the film Contact. Got you. A prophecy to restore the airborne kingdom. Hmm. There was but one belief we had wrong that day, though it proved vital. For such a finding was no chance at all. I'm not really too sure what they mean by that, but hmm, eventually we might actually get to play the game. And star wipe to the actual city. Okay, lift off. All of our painstaking efforts have succeeded. Our home flies, yet this is the own beginning. To truly rebuild the ancient's vision, we need to find every kingdom upon the lands and befriend them as common allies. We also need inhabitants to form our great council in this new empire. We should start with the kingdom of... Uh, Rotula, not far from us and the only kingdom we know, but first we must build houses and find supplies. It's a quick rundown through the I, uh, UI. Top left we have our time of day and time controls. You do have a day-night cycle. It doesn't seem to actually alter anything other than the visuals, but maybe things get introduced as uh, we play along with the game. I should point out I've not actually completed the game, but I've got maybe a third of the way through it, so hopefully enough to understand the basics and get um, a decent amount of... Uh, a decent amount of uh, way through this one in the series. We have at the top here our overall travellers and um, our um, people's needs. So we are currently satisfied. You can see it goes from jubilant up to angry and you have certain needs in order to uh, make them obviously happy or they'll be displeased. You have overall inhabitants. Population is currently nine with zero homes. Resources on the top there, so food, water, coal, wood, and then things like a door buy-in, glass, etc. Uh, we have also our lift and speed, obviously something that you need in a kingdom that floats. We also have our overall storage on the top right, which is currently at 32 out of 100. That can be increased with things like warehouses and then relics, which you will find throughout the land. On the bottom 
bottom here we also have buttons for building showing the map and research which we can't currently do so a quick zoom in we can see that we have this sort of steampunky looking uh, platform here with absolutely zero health and safety regulations in place because we have well, basically vast drops where not only can you fall off and get minced through these propellers and uh, wings here, but also you have gears like that that can... Well, you pretty much get Terminator 2 straight in that one there. Anyway, we have to move around. I'm just going to wait for the tutorial to uh, pop up and tell us how to do that. But um, spoiler alert, you, you right click and it, it moves around there. So yeah, we have this. Uh, I have the tutorials enabled. I'll keep that on for the time being, but we'll see uh, how far we get. So I'm going to move around here. You can see we are slowly moving around. We're currently on 76% speed and that will increase and decrease based on the size of your city as well as the um, amount of propulsion things you have on there. Basic controls is standard stuff, so it's W, S and D to sort of move the camera around and you can scroll in and zoom out and yeah, it's all the typical stuff. We'll actually uh, lock our camera to the town centre there. I would say that the main resource to focus on is coal. If you run out of coal, then this thing, I'm guessing, crashes out of the sky, although I've not yet tried it. I've not yet... Uh... <laughs> got to that failure state this is a case of not this this thing cannot fail safe it's fail deadly so when it breaks it breaks a lot anyway uh we want to build some housing blocks so let's go to building and then over to housing blocks so a housing block provides shelter for one inhabitant each block clumped together with the nearest neighbors to form a two by two house actually what i'll do is i'll use paths here and i will build them along and round and put like a path all the way around this thing although they can wander on this little platform I like to space this out now as you build as you may imagine this will get heavier and that obviously will uh, alter your lift so currently you're on 21 of 40 imagine that as weight so we're currently 21 of the maximum of 40 as we build it will obviously increase and decrease uh, if we go over to housing blocks we can place one there and then one there and you may notice that it actually starts to list over it's not very it's not very noticeable there but it does start to list over either way I'm going to put some more housing blocks here and then one two same thing on the other side uh, although we do have to well actually we need to put it on there but I've actually ran out of resources but there you are so we're currently tilting over by only a tiny bit you can it's, it's almost imperceptible but we are tilting over to the left or the port side there it's asking us to gather resources but currently we don't have anywhere to gather resources we need for that a a, where is it a hanger so I'm gonna put the hanger probably on the back here so I'm actually gonna place it there with a pathway that goes down the center because eventually I'm going to place probably two hangers pretty much side by side now I'm not I'm not going to apologize in advance I'm going to state this in advance that yes I am um very very much a fan of symmetry um and I probably will be making this city as symmetrical as possible but that's not just for aesthetic and probably personal reasons but it's also because if you make it symmetrical you have the correct weight distribution and balance so that's my excuse so uh, let's go ahead and gather some resources from the forest so we can see this forest down here we can click on that and you can set the amount of aircraft that uh, are able to go down there and we have currently seven aircraft in this hangar here we can zoom in and uh, have a quick look we actually got an aircraft on there which actually looks more like a canoe than anything else but there you are and what happens is they get dropped out of the bottom here and then they sort of go get the resources and they're currently flying up they'll do a loop to loop and then they go inside and well if there was a crash sound effect we'd probably hear a cartoon clock because it does that but the hey wow that is now in so back over to building and to the housing block although we resources have not yet been brought to there they actually have been sorted now so we'll place a housing block in there one two three and we need one more there but we're not yet able to do that just waiting a little bit longer and how many resources currently on one wood we're getting uh, plus 24.9 there uh, well it says yeah we're getting oh, 25 an hour so that is fine however you can see down the bottom this has now started to be used up we've only got 10 remaining trees there so we're gonna have to move along and we'll move over to there so right click and it puts a balloon to indicate our waypoint and we now slowly go towards there however our speed maximum speed is now only 59 percent uh researching new buildings this is asking me to uh 
build an adorb kiln and that's or adorb is adorby adorb anywhere uh, and it asks us to build um a kiln which we need to get well okay are we able to do that i think we need to, the academy first anyway just waiting for this to head forward there and you can see we do have a fairly decent range there actually we can pull another a uh, bit of housing there because I want to get everybody in a house. This is almost used up this forest, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's an academy we need, so I'm going to max out the uh, gathering of the wood over in this corner. So there we are. And that will be then enough for hopefully to build the academy. The things uh, that we can build, obviously many, many things we can build. Um, it ranges from uh, resources, which is the kiln, where our storage for food and water, warehouse, you've got lift and propulsion, which obviously increases the uh, appropriate statistics there, and also things like desires, which currently aren't in this, uh, well, they are in the game, but we currently haven't got to a stage where we need to look after that. It's things like lighting and faith and all of that, and there's our balloon uh, sort of moving off there. So we have people going down the bottom. We also have this oasis, which will... Well, we can probably gather some water, because we are only on 12 of 30. But we also have things around here. So this is a... Uh, fluorescent ponds here. A number of small ponds glow with strange colours next to a small abandoned settlement. The walls of the buildings are dyed in a similar colour to the waters. So, the source of the pigment is a mystery, but it appears we can change the colours of our own buildings with this. So, we will say, take the dyes, and that means now that we can go over to our main settlement and over to the customised motifs, and we can actually change the colour of it, and you can say, apply to all, or you can apply it to different sections. I actually like that one because it's just a little bit more vibrant than than that one there, even though that's a bit more steampunky, uh, I think we'll go with uh, go with that one there and apply it to all. But you can customise every little building by clicking on it and changing the customised motifs. So there you go. Right, so we are still gathering the timber down below. We should now have, yes, we do now have the um, a possibility of getting more are getting an academy however we are running out of people we currently have two idle but we need five however if we click on this settlement here this is a small settlement we approach a hovel on the edge of nowhere some settlers wish to join us and leave the land's toil behind so we'll look for migrants and we have three people here which we got excited to join excited to join and curious so some of them will require more needs than others at this stage all of them will join there's no big problem there and oh actually this person will not join uh, they need to have, well, they need to be jubilant, so I guess we can't do that one. Um, let's go ahead and think about maybe more housing. So where can I possibly build some more housing? Well, I think I'm just going to go one. Ah, if I place them there, we may not be able to get round, and I don't really like the idea of that. Let's just place one there, one there, and then one there, one there. We can make it a two by two, but doing that will mean that people can't go around this corner. Is that true, though, or can they walk through that? I'm not actually sure. Either way, we've got enough housing for the time being, so I'm not going to bother too much. Let's go ahead and check out our academy here. And this is basically our research center. I'm going to build the academy. I could build it forward like that, but because of its size, um, we could have one there and we could have one there, ideally, with the paths going beyond it. I think that's the way forward. Or I could have it side on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to have it side on a bit. Um, maybe run that across, that down there, and then that around. I think that's the right size. And then the academy yet yeah, can go in there. Now it will mean that the academy will be slightly offset because I do plan on having two academies, and it'll basically be um, be that. Okay, so that's the academy. The other academy will go there. So slightly offsetting it, but it should hopefully function. And once the academies there will be uh, will be all right. It's telling us about speed, but I think I've mentioned that that the speed is altered based on the weight and uh, the propulsion that you have. Academy is now complete. We will open the research tree, and we now need to get this kiln here that uh, has a construction cost of fifteen wood and has three people. You, as far as I can tell, cannot assign people to different tasks. They just they will be assigned to the jobs on the on the city and then any remaining will be either going 
in the planes or building. Let's have a check here and see if this other person would like to be recruited. They are excited to join. We will invite them. We are now on 12 of 12 population with one of them idle. So we can see that we have people going down to the oasis there. We also have some coal and we are gathering some food as well. So I'll wait until our food and such is maxed out and then we'll... Um, go forward from there i think the housing i'm probably going to move further forward and have sort of the aft section to be more industrial and the fore section to be more sort of housing and for the people because when you build the kilns they don't like to be next to um the inhabitants so i think that's probably i think we'll probably move these actually can we move them no we can destroy them but i don't think i can move them which is a bit of a shame i might have to oops hang on i've accidentally moved the kingdom let me just go there yeah i think uh, we may end up may end up altering some of that so gathering food with not a lot of people um i think we probably need to get some let me just uh, stop the stop the city there um let's see what we need we have Five people on the oases. Oasises? Oasises? Oasis? Nah, there's some on the water hall. Uh, we have one on the thickets, which is providing food, but we are trying to get to that city over there, that very large one. And we've already had a look at that one. We've already had a look at this one. Um, I think it is basically wait for the water and food to be somewhat maxed, and then we'll head head sort of forward there water storage is almost full oh it is now full so i will say nobody uh, assigned there and then move up and i will now start to gather the coal actually i'll gather the coal from back here because quite frankly it's probably better to do so Ador the adobe i don't know if it's adobe adobe anyway the kiln is researched so it transforms clay into bricks i believe uh, workers don't like living near the kiln so let's open the research tree here i'm actually going to pause the game and i think it's very important to check out the other research under here so every single one of these at the top the question marks they're the big ones they are different buildings whereas the ones below are efficiency and bonuses for that particular building so for example the town center we obviously got a research same as housing same as the hangar i can go for say for example increase the maximum speed that's eight hours or increase coal storage by 100 percent. that's the only way as far as i can tell to get more coal at the moment we don't really need that so i what i'll do i think i'll go for um requires 25 percent less water per household and also you can stack the houses up uh, to two stories which is good i'm going to go with probably the food and water research first because we want to be a bit efficient um, on that one as well. Let's go over to building and to resources and ah sadly I can't show you the, the kiln there. It will not let me because I don't have the resources although we do have some wood over that, res uh, that way there as well so that's fine. There's also some growing back there you can see that. You can see it's four remaining about two per trip. So slowly heading forward here and I think we will stop the boat just before we get out of range of that coal store. Um, oh, we also have over here, we have a relic ruin. Assign workers to hunt for relics. So I will send a worker, and once again, they will drop out of the bottom. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, there we go. Full send, and <laughs> it's going over there. Excellent. Good. Um, coal storage is full. Food storage is full, so we don't need any more coal. We don't need... Actually, we'll keep people on the food, but we do want to get people to collect some of this uh, clay down here. This is a clay deposit, and we'll see if we can pick up all of that, and we'll do a similar thing over this area as well. So these are pretty much maxed out. Obviously, we do need to increase the storage at some point, but at this stage, it's probably not worth it. Um, anyway, what I was going to say about the, about the pathing. The pathing, I'm probably going to run... I'm preemptively going to run around. Probably not a great idea because this is obviously increasing the uh, the weight of it. Although each one of those is only 0 0.01. So it's it's actually not much at all. But in terms of resources for the kiln, it's going to, uh, yeah, it's going to require some there. Uh, so no more food, but we do want to go for the forest. And we have people assigned to that there. You can see there's like balloons. And that's the amount of people assigned to that. So five and one, two, three, four, five balloons. Yeah, so... That's uh, what it has. Haven't really commented on the look of it. Um, I, I, I looked at this and thought it was like a sort of nice traditional tapestry or hanging. Um, whereas a friend who I was showing the game to said it looks like a Victorian uh, tiled floor. <laughs> so cannot unsee. Uh, I think that's a fairly accurate description of 
uh, of that, to be fair. So, yeah, there you are. So I'm going to start moving the kingdom there. Obviously, the more things you have to uh, pro propel yourself or lift the lift the thing, it will require more coal. But at the moment, we're just using the, uh, the basics there. So it looks like the storage over there, sorry, the... Um, the clay deposit has now been used up and we've now got everything in storage. Currently on 18 of... 18 of 100. We're going to get all of the wood from here. And then we need to build a kiln. Uh, you can see that the building itself has stopped because that is the last remaining sort of job in the list. As, like, as, as I said earlier, I don't know if there's a way to reassign people from the jobs or whether or not you can prioritize certain jobs over the others. I actually don't mind you you can't. I like the fact that it's just automatically done. It's a fairly chill game in that uh, in that regard. There's not it's not micro heavy. So not that I found anywhere. So there's all of the planes coming in. We now have six wood although they're going to come out and then start to store in there. In terms of storage, we do want to place some storage actually, and the storage will probably go closer to these because when they come out, you want them to place them in the storage in and around where we're going to be using it. In terms of storage, we've got food, a warehouse, and water. So we could probably place a warehouse on either side. Um, a warehouse there would be good. What's the size of a food storage, actually? Storage, food, and a food... Oh, it's actually the perfect size for going there. Oh, that's a shame. Right, what I'm going to do there, I'm going to increase... A, I'm just going to put a path there and put a path there. I'm then going to go ahead and build one, two three, four, and actually delete these houses here. I'm actually going to go to building, destroy, and destroy those houses, and destroy those houses, because I think it would be better having them just a little bit further forward and having these as food storage areas, and then warehouses here, and then I think overall that would probably be uh, a little bit better. Obviously, uh, sadly, some people are currently without homes, but you know what? They're currently working as well, so it doesn't really matter too much, does it? So there we are, that is now gathered up. We will set these guys to, I think, gather... Well, what do we need at the moment? I think more of this clay is the way forward, but we are going to head forward, and we need more wood. We're on 32, and there's loads of wood over on the left-hand side, but we're actually going to head to this to this big city here, because that is our main objective at the moment. Um, over to building and to our storage. I'm going to place a food storage in here, and then a warehouse in here. Simply because I want to try and, like I say, offset the thing here. And you can see, actually, that's starting to bank a bit to the rear there, but hopefully not a massive drama. We're currently on 36 of 40 lifts, so this is already quite a a large, a large uh, city. I think it's important not to really overdo the uh, the building there, but then again, that's pretty much what I've done already. But at least we can collect a lot of uh, like coal and resources and such, and I think we're probably in range of this uh, kingdom. So we'll have a little chat, and yes, we are in range. So this is the kingdom of Ratula. So, to fulfill the prophecy, we must have Rutula allied with us, our machines, or the crowds, and give an audience with the Queen. So, they seek an ancient blueprints that can combine with the knowledge to make wondrous technology. So, we can go for... We search for technologies, and we can get things like a glass smelter, vertical rotor, and sails. Those require relics, so we have currently three relics, so I'm going to get a vertical rotor. And they also seek our assistance. So, the Queen tells us that the Great Conservatory is in ruin. That's the thing on the top there. If only could find the resources and lend some of our workforce to its reconstruction. So, they require... Rebuild the Great Conservatory requires 10 wood and 2 uh, of these bricks. So, I don't actually have the bricks because I'm not yet making it. But, that's not a huge drama. What I'm going to do is stop the boat there. I'm going to send someone to that relic ruin. I'm going to send someone to... That one's already been checked out. Um, let's actually go over here and I want to gather more resources from this forest. That should hopefully be alright. We currently have decent food, decent water. Lift is getting to almost critical levels, but we'll see how we get on. And 
least we've got resources around. So that's relics found, which is fine. That one. Oh, there we go. We can send people there. So I'll just stop the... I was going to say stop the boat. <laughs> yes, yeah, sky boat, I guess. And uh, we'll just see how these guys crack on. You know what? Do I really need that food silo there? I do want it there, but I don't know if I actually need it. I'll build it anyway, just because I've started the construction and it seems a bit... Uh, a bit problematic to destroy it. I should also check the map out as well. So there is the map and I should point out that the map itself shows us our uh, maximum population, the allies, and we can check the tapestry out. This is what was shown at the very start of the game there on the intro. And we also have our quests and this is obviously not populated, but as you explore the different areas, it will populate itself. So that's pretty good. Over to building and to the resources here, and we need a kiln. So I'm going to... I need three people, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and then assign three people to the kiln. And you can see we now get this thing around it to indicate that basically we are... Uh, that's like the, the negative radius because it's, I don't know, it's a kiln, makes noise or is smelly or something. So you don't want it in the building area, so that's why I'm going to put it towards the rear of the boat. I could put it sort of right on the back of of this thing however putting it there may offset this a little bit actually where it is there would be perfectly acceptable I'm gonna place it um, probably there now that's going to yes that's going to push it further back I don't think it's officially listing no it's not um, lift is getting to critical levels but we should be able to alter that with some rotors and with some technology but we'll see how we get on there so I'm not gonna alter anything else because I want to get that then bricks made and once we've done that we can then head off to wherever we can see in the distance we have some quartz mine there those you get quartz to make glass out of that one we also have looks to be a relic ruin we've got more stuff that's where we came from back over there oh there's a housing block upgraded requires 25 percent less water per household that is good i will do the same thing for food just to try and get that extra efficiency there um yeah where did we come from we did we come from over there yeah i actually was it there yeah it was back over there there was actually a city it's very tiny you can can't actually see it but that's where we came from Anyway, we've also got a big city over there in the distance. You can see the sort of pyre burning. And I think there's one over there as well. There's four in total for each tapestry. Uh, each tapestry section. And there's three sections in total. So it looks like the kiln is up and running. Let's have a focus on that. So lock the camera. And there you go. People are bringing the resources, hammering away, and building the bricks. This is good. So once I've got the required number of bricks, which I believe was two, and the required wood, which I think was only ten, we should be able to send it to this city. We don't need any coal, we don't really need water or food. Basically, we're doing alright for for the resources. The main problem is lift and speed. Speed run 40% maximum and lift we're at, uh, well, less. So we're on a 38 to 40. All workers are currently busy, so I will tell one two workers to come back so we now have it should say two idle eventually and rebuild the conservatory so we are now building the conservatory once again so that is good we have to hang around this thing and while the conservatory gets built that shouldn't be a big problem and i guess is it getting rebuilt or do i have to be a bit closer i think i might have to be a little bit closer let's just speed up to max speed while we head towards that there we go that's starting to build now i don't know whether it's because of where we moved but yeah it's starting to build now which is the the main thing uh we can go for resources uh or ra rather go for um technology i'm gonna go for the the sail increases speed but the glass smelter gives us resources that we currently don't have nor that we may not i don't know if we actually need it but i'm gonna go for that anyway I like the way that the walkway to the kiln has currently not being built, whereas everything else has. That is curious to say the least. But anyway, that's fine. 12 population, but we can obviously get more if needs be, although the main defining and sort of issue here is the lift, where we're going on 38 to 40. 
There's another plane coming in. And uh, we'll probably have finished off. Have we not? Oh no, we don't. We haven't actually finished off that forest. In things of, in terms of technology, we've got, let's say, the 25% less food per household researching, but we can go for lift, which is the vertical rotor there, and that is really, really useful, but it does require resources, so, yeah. We can also go for... Uh, actually, I don't think the town centre we can. No, we can't do anything with the town centre in terms of lift, which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, apparently the conservatory is now completed. So, with our resources and labour, the conservatory is whole again. Um, upon seeing our efforts, a couple of locals join our cause, agreeing to take part in the Great Council. Yet the conservatory is still weathered, its groves rotted. The Queen asks us to find a sapling from the golden trees of Kardar. Okay, fair enough. The whereabouts of the trees are known, but it's rumoured to be marked on our map. Okay. Okay, let's have a quick look then. So I will have, for a start, have to build some housing. So one, two, and three, four. And we're on max lift now, so we can't actually build any more. But there you are. Let's go over to this. And ah, apparently the tree is over here, so that is fine. So what I'm going to do is head over to that location. If I press M, we can see we get a little point. Actually, we can hardly see it. I'll put it there. We get a little point indicating where I've uh, said we want to go. But apparently there's like bits around here that I should probably explore as well. So maybe we explore this bit and then go up to where this tree is apparently uh, situated at. But anyway, I think we will leave it there for now. That has been a little bit of Airborne Kingdom, hopefully enjoyable to yourself. And next episode, we will continue on and see, as always, how far we get. The objective is to try and get this city aligned with us as fast as possible. So get the tree, bring it back. And uh, hopefully we don't fall out of the sky. As always, comment in the comments and we will go from there. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>